This demonstration will show you how to perform and interpret a shear wave elastography exam. Shear wave elastography is a real-time and reproducible method of measuring the stiffness of tissue. This information can be used in conjunction with grayscale imaging to provide the clinician with additional information to better characterize tissue in abnormal states, such as lesions and diffuse disease. The supersonic Imagine elastography can be used in breast, abdominal, thyroid, prostate, and MSK applications. I will now demonstrate how to perform a shear wave elastography exam in the thyroid gland. The first step is to perform a 2D image. I've now optimized my 2D image and I'm ready to turn on my shear wave elastography. Shear wave elastography is very easy to use with just one push of a button, I have my shear wave window. I can make this window larger or smaller depending on the area of interrogation that I would like to see. As you can see, I am scanning in real time. I can move the transducer and I have my shear wave or stiffness information. I do not need to compress. Shear wave elastography does not need any compression. I'm going to freeze the image. And here you can see, and I'll explain now from the scale what type of information we're looking at. Looking at the scale on the right side of the monitor, soft is coded as blue, and the higher you go to the scale, the stiffer the tissue becomes. Looking at my shear wave window, I can see that this thyroid tissue is blue and uniform, indicating, from what we know, normal <laughs> thyroid tissue. I will now demonstrate shear wave elastography using a breast phantom. This phantom has multiple inclusions which demonstrate different levels of stiffness. This particular lesion appears on the 2D image to be a complex lesion. When I activate the shear wave elastography, again, I have a window where my elasticity information is acquired. Using my trackball, I can move that window. Using my trackball ring, I can make it larger or smaller. Again, I am not applying any pressure, but scanning with normal scanning pressure that I would use for a 2D image. This is very important to ensure reproducibility of the result. I'm going to freeze this image, and here you can see this lesion is very stiff because it's coated stiffer than the normal surrounding blue tissue. Within the lesion, we have different stiffness levels, so this would be considered a heterogeneous lesion because it has yellow, aqua, and red as compared to the normal surrounding tissue. In contrast, I'm going to demonstrate to you a soft lesion. I'm just going to adjust my depth, move my focus down. Again, it's very important to have optimal 2D image quality before entering my shear wave mode. This lesion, as you can see, appears somewhat similar as the other lesion in that it has, it's a complex lesion with different levels of shades of gray. When I activate my shear wave, I see that in contrast to the very stiff pattern of the other lesion, this lesion is soft as compared to the surrounding tissue. When doing shear wave, you always want to compare your target or your lesion to the surrounding tissue. This lesion is very isoechoic by 2D and barely visible. When I activate the shear wave, I can see that the lesion becomes much more conspicuous. 
In this case, the shear wave was very helpful in identifying the lesion, which by 2D was very difficult to see. In contrast to solid lesions, I'll demonstrate a cystic lesion or a lesion that's fluid component. Anything that is liquid or fluid with a low viscosity will not produce a shear wave. When I enter the shear wave mode and bring my box down to the cyst, just give it some time to update. and I see that the cyst is clear, which validates that this is indeed a lesion with fluid component. Shear wave elastography provides additional information to the clinician, as in this case of invasive lobular carcinoma, which was not detected on mammography. Thank you for your attention.